Hey, uh, what's up guys? This is Brad Gaines. Um, I wanted to do a different kind of video uh, this week. Not necessarily me in the gym and, and you know doing different exercises, but kind of just answering a question I get from, uh, from subscribers. And I actually got this one this morning. And this is kind of like the ones that I get normally. Uh, this guy, I'm not going to give his name, of course, but <clears throat> uh, I'm a total beginner. Uh, how can I get big arms? I get a lot of those, you know, where they, they don't give me any kind of specifics, like uh, you know how big they are, their, their age, um, you know, none of that. But really, the only kind of advice I can give this person is uh, <clears throat> something that I know he'll probably do is do a five-day split, you will hit one body part every single day, and he'll devote an entire day to arms. And this is probably one of the worst mistakes any beginner can make because not only is he tearing his biceps and forearms up during back workouts, uh, he's tearing his triceps up doing his chest and, and shoulder workouts. But then he's going to go the very next day and tear up his biceps and triceps again, giving him no time to allow them to grow. There's just no reason to devote an entire workout session to your arms. They're small muscles, after all. I mean, not yours, but in general. The way you get bigger in any muscle group is to gain weight and to get stronger. And the way you get stronger is doing compound lifts. Uh, lifts like the bench press, the, the deadlift, squats, uh, rowing, any kind of big major lift. And uh, you want to get stronger in those lifts. And by doing this, your arms are going to grow. I mean, you've never seen a guy with a big bench with skinny arms. Look, I'm not saying you can't do arm exercises like the bicep curl or tricep kickbacks. But make sure you keep it after a, a major muscle group like if you work your back, hit your biceps for maybe three or four sets, but no more than this because you're not going to need it. If you work your back hard enough, that's all you're going to need for your biceps. And don't go crazy on tricep isolation exercises like skull crushers or uh, cable press downs. Uh, you're better off doing some kind of pushing motion like a narrow grip bench press or, or weighted dips. If you do too many isolation exercises or you do them too heavy, you can actually hurt your elbow, which can restrict your entire training. So anyway, I'm going to uh, write this guy back and kind of tell him what I just told you. And uh, hopefully I can get some more information from him and give him some better tips. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to check back here every Monday where I'll be releasing a new video. All right. Talk to you later. Peace. Go!